don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. That's a fact. You got the city hot. Foul. Don't fuck around. What's good, Stella? Yeah. It's your boy, Glass, and you are now tuned into the Real Estate Reaction Channel on the I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Well, today this isn't a reaction. But it's a long overdue video. I'm sure you can tell, you know by the title what this video is going to be about already. Obviously. You feel me? But it's like, I've been having a lot of time to think. And I've been thinking about certain shit. And it's like, yo, a lot of shit don't make sense to me no more. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather, I'd rather get money now. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just focus on getting money. Because, you know, life mad short, son. You know what I'm saying? Life mad short. It's not like, all right, you know a lot of people going to be like, you feel me? Yo, you, you trying to cop the plead or you trying to this. It's not even none of that shit. It's just like sometimes you get smarter and you start seeing shit differently. You know what I mean? You can wise up over a week, over a month. Some people take years. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain shit. You just got to see certain shit for you to really start to notice certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, a little stupid shit stand out to you, and you notice that it's stupid. And if you continue to do the stupid shit, then, you know what I mean? Stupid is what stupid does. So that means you're stupid if you're going to continue doing stupid shit, knowing that shit is stupid. You know what I mean? You feel me? And, like, I was thinking about it, like, I felt like pride and ego and shit is, like, I'd rather not let my pride and ego make me show how ignorant I can get. You feel me? Because, like, at the end of the day, it kind of make it make it make niggas look weak. You know what I'm saying? Make niggas look weak at the end of the day. Not weak as a man or whatever, but it make you look weak as a culture. It's like when I started my channel, my intentions was actually to help you know all the rappers that's coming up or whatever. You feel me? That's that's already working hard enough. Not you people that just started working, making songs, and you got a hundred views. And now you hear me say this. Now you got a hundred views, and you want to get more views, and you know my channel can do that for you. Oh yo yo, you should do my shit for me, bro. Nah, I'm not beefing with you, bro. I just need. Nah, it's not gonna be like that. You gotta put in that work, cause that label ain't gonna just sign you up for a hundred views. The label ain't gonna reach out to you for a hundred views, three hundred views. Thousand views, ten thousand views. They're not gonna reach out to you for that. So don't expect me to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, what do you bring to the table? You feel me? Me taking my time to do that for you. What do you bring to the table? You get me? So, like, I just wanted to make this video. You feel me? Like, breezy, blicky, car structure. Tutu, not really much so Nas because, you know I mean, it's not really no friction between me and him. It's just like his people. So he's like, you know, that's where his loyalty is at. But to all those people, like, I'm trying to, like, come on some real nigga shit. Like, yo, all that shit, all that shit could be deaded, you feel me? That shit ain't about nothing. That shit could be deaded because there's way more money to be make, made than making enemies is just... It's just getting in the way of money, you know what I'm saying? It's just getting in the way of money. And true say, it's like, all right, niggas can see each other outside and they go how it go or whatever, you feel what I'm saying? Like, everybody already know, nigga. I don't hold my tongue for nothing because I'm actually, you feel me, with a lot of things, you feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, you, what's understood don't have to be explained, but it's not even about that type of shit no more, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I look at this shit like, bro, I went, I'm, like, most of y'all know already, I, I'm on bail, right? Nigga, I, I, when I got locked up, they had, I didn't go to Rikers, I went to the Tombs. And I was there for, like, like a, like a week or so, you feel me? I, I post the bail, 
the same day. I was supposed to get out the same day, but I don't know how I didn't. They did some foolery. I ended up going to the tombs for like a week. All this corona shit, and then the process took a whole. They did some some bullshit, and it was like the through the weekends. When it got through the weekend, it it was even more fucked up or whatever. So I ended up being there for like a week. Not not a whole week, probably like five days or some shit. Anyways. Me sitting in there reminded me, like, before, like, I did time before, and me being in there reminded me, he's like, yo, bro, you're bugging, like, imagine, I'm sitting in there, I'm like, yo, what about my car? Uh, how, how, how's, how, who's gonna move my car from side to side? Who's gonna be paying my insurance? Who's gonna be taking care of my car? What about my rent, my crib? And I start thinking about all these things, it's like, yo, damn, son, I got a lot of shit to lose now. You know what I'm saying? I can't be out here just... Playing with my life in order to, you know, not just just prove my like prove that I'm right about the things that I say or prove that I will do the things I say I do. I don't I don't care about proving it no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like fuck that shit. At the end of the day, whoever believe believe. Who don't want to believe don't believe. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not coming here saying that I'm about to be some square ass dude. And you see me outside and I'm gonna let you smack me in the back of my head or some dumb shit like that. It's not gonna be like that, you feel me? But right now, I'm just trying to avoid certain things that ain't that ain't nothing at all. Like I look at it since I sit down and think about it. That shit ain't about nothing. Really and truly, it ain't about nothing. It's just disagreements and shit. So at the end of the day, we could chalk that up. It's way more money to be made, like I said, you know what I'm saying? So all those people that I named, you feel me? I'm coming to them telling them like, yo, that shit squash. It ain't no issue, you feel me? Yes, if you make a video and there's something funny in the video, I will talk about it. Yes, I will. Yes, I will still make jokes and cut ass. Yes, I will still do that. But now that I came and made this video to clear the air so you know that it's not personal when I do that, you should be able to respect it now. You feel what I'm saying? You should be able to respect it. Before I understand, niggas ain't know where I was coming from when I was doing what I was doing. A lot of niggas took shit personal. And a lot of niggas felt like because I was associated with certain people like, yo, these people are my friends or whatever. A lot of people felt like I'm, I'm affiliated with whatever gang or whatever. I'm not. So... Y'all gang beef don't really have nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? My friends are my friends because I know them. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. My friends are my friends because I know them. I mean, it's not, oh, my friends are my friends because we're in the same gang. No, my friends are my friends because I know them. You feel me? These are people that I grew up with and I got a lot of love for them. I rock with them and shit. That's why you see me with them. But it ain't no affiliation shit. So I know a lot of y'all was taking it as that I was affiliated. So y'all felt like, oh, since he affiliated with those niggas, he um he probably really don't like niggas. He probably really a op and shit like that. Niggas niggas ain't my ops because niggas never really, you feel me? Niggas never really did shit to me. Yes, we have run-ins with certain niggas and certain issues happen and shit. These people know who they are. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing to really say on the internet. These people know who they are. Yes, shit got physical. You know what I'm saying? And those people might be in their feelings. And they won't allow you as the rapper to say, yo, you know what? I'm dead in that shit. You know what I'm saying? They going to egg you on because they want you to be involved. So that way they have some type of back of and they have some type of help in the process of the whole shit. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm coming here. I'm saying this. This shit is done. So after I say... This shit is done. If a nigga goes on the internet and keeps up the negative shit or a nigga say, yo, fuck that shit. I don't care what he's saying. That shit is up and it's stuck. Then it goes to show niggas character and what niggas mindset is really on. And you know what I'm saying? It's going to show a real nigga versus a bitch nigga. If, if anybody was to still carry out that negative energy after I make this video. You feel me? I'm not saying that anybody will. But you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like it's better that... Some of y'all niggas better off being friends with me than enemies. You feel what I'm saying? Because if y'all want to get into rap shit, y'all doing rap shit right now, it's like beefing with me is not, it's not, it's not a good look. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good look. Because at the end of the day, my fan base going to crush y'all niggas regardless. Because a lot of rappers don't have fan base. They have their music on big platforms that can get them views. So they don't have a fan base. But anyway... 
I'm not trying to crush nobody careers and shit. You feel me? I will react to you niggas shit still. And if I do make a joke, it's not personal. So don't take that shit personal. You feel me? Anybody could shoot a gun. Anybody could spin a block. That shit is not hard. You know what I'm saying? Anybody could go to jail. I've been there before. I know what it's like. And I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like jail at all because I like to be free. I like to get money. I like to sleep next to my gal. I don't like to be in the cell and shit with man all day. I don't like that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So to avoid all that stupidity and shit, this is why I'm making this video so niggas can get past this shit. You feel me? I didn't have to make this video. But this way it goes to show that I'm a work in progress and I'm going against my pride. I'm going against my pride because I notice my pride sometimes bring me more problems than, 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 than good. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm trying to build niggas up. I'm not trying to be the fuel to a lot of people's demise and shit. I ain't trying to break people down and shit. I'm trying to build people up. So now that I made this video... Feel me? Whatever y'all take from it. Y'all niggas can hit me up. I'll respond to y'all. We can have a conversation. We can do an interview. Whatever, you feel me? We could let everybody know the shit done. You know what I mean? And we just move forward from it. Anytime I make a video, if I make a joke or I cut your ass in a video, it's not personal. We don't have beef. Feel me? So just leave that shit. And it's about to be 2021. Let's leave that shit in 2020, man. See that shit in 2020. And for you idiots that's going to come in the comment section say, oh, you scared or you copping a plea. All right, that's not going to work with me because my mental is on a different level. And if I was scared, I would have made this video earlier on in the year, not the last month in the year. You know what I'm saying? Like the last, literally almost the last seven days of the month type shit. But probably a little bit more than seven days left but you know what i'm saying i wouldn't be making this video now this year the year is already done like i went through the whole summer and all that shit when everybody's outside with all these issues and you know i didn't make this video so it's not about copping the plead it's just about wising up and seeing things for what it is my nigga i'm not about to keep giving the police the w just because pride because at the end of the day i lose if they get me i lose you feel me? And my pride, nah. That goes against my pride too, losing. I don't want to be a loser. That goes against my pride too. And a lot of y'all niggas be having pride and y'all can't put little shit to the side. Y'all niggas need to put that shit to the side because at the end of the day, you're going to lose too. You feel me? Ain't no winning with pride because when you make choices off of pride, you ain't making them choices with thought. You say it don't take no thought to make choice off of pride. You just do it off of instinct. You feel what I'm saying? And when you make permanent decisions off of temporary emotions, you're the one who end up screwed in the long run. And I notice these things and people that care about me and people that speak to me tell me these things. So if everybody's seeing that, you know, my platform could be better than what it is, I'm going to make it better than what it is. I'm a dead all of beef, dead all of drama, and let's move forward. 2021. BMG gonna have the city hot again. 2021 is gonna be even, it's, it's the second wave, you heard? It's the second wave. Y'all might have to quarantine again, you get me? BMG gonna keep the city hot. 2021. So, now with all that being said, man, all that shit dead, we're moving forward, you feel me? I don't got no hate in my heart for y'all because nobody ain't hurt me, I ain't hurt nobody. So, let's just keep it like that and let's move forward, you feel me? All the ignorance, of course, there's going to be a lot of ignorant comments in this comment section because I already know. I already know the corny, lame niggas who want to be so gangster, they're going to go against the grain. Oh, fuck that shit. Niggas ain't dead and shit, you pussy. But they not even from New York. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm not even going to entertain that. So before you even go in the comment section and try to act like you're somebody else responding, I'm not even going to entertain that. Unless I hear from the niggas themselves that I mentioned. I ain't give a shit about none of that. And if me, you did exchange words and I didn't mention your name, this applies to you also, you feel me? So, well, that's pretty much it, you feel me? I need everybody to like, comment, subscribe, you feel me? Y'all say what y'all want about this situation in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? And whatever y'all think I can make better on my shit, I make it better, we make change, we make progress, we move forward, you feel me? It's your boy, Upper Class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video.
If you not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.